Hello and welcome back to my channel and the Linux Commands for Beginners series. In this video, I'm going to walk you guys through the process of setting up your own cloud Linux server, also known as a VPS, a virtual private server, that you'll be able to connect to and use to run all the commands in this series. Now, setting up a VPS is not required. If you already have your own Linux installation, you can use that. You can skip ahead to video number four, where we'll actually get started. If you prefer to have a virtual box, virtual machine running locally on your computer, then go ahead and check out the next video and I will show you how to do that. As far as which distribution you go with, it really doesn't matter because for the most part, the videos in this series will be pretty much distro agnostic, but if anything comes up that requires a specific distribution, I'll let you know. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started in the process of creating our own VPS. All right, so here I am on my laptop. Well, actually it's not my laptop. This is a System76 Oryx Pro. System76 was nice enough to lend this to me for a review that I'm planning on doing, but I figured I would record a few videos off of it while I still had it. They are not a sponsor though. I just thought I'd mention that because it seems the, to be the case that I'm often asked, what laptop are you using? Well, it's a System76 Oryx Pro in case you're wondering, but you didn't come here for that. You came here for the Linux. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to bring up a browser. And what I'm going to do is go to Linode. I'm going to go to cloud.linode.com. And if you don't already have an account, you can click right here where it says sign up here. You simply choose your username, type in your email address, and come up with a password. Now before we go any further, I should give you the disclaimer that setting up a cloud server is not free. There is a cost associated with that, but I do have a coupon code. There's a link to it below in the show notes that'll give you a $20 credit that you can use so you don't have to pay anything out of pocket. Now keep in mind that the $20 will only go so far depending on which type of Linode you choose. So you definitely want to delete it if you don't intend on keeping it. However, Linode is a great platform. So if you want a, your own Linux server in the cloud and you want to keep it around, it's definitely not an expensive way to go. Their prices are very reasonable. I'll go ahead and close this because in my case, I already have an account. So I'm going to go ahead and log into that. All right, go ahead and log in. All right, I'll click Let's Go. And here we are on the dashboard. I'm not going to spend too much time here because this is a Linux tutorial. But basically what I want to do is create a new Linode. So I'll click on the Create button right here. I'm going to create a Linode. So I'm going to use Ubuntu in my case. I want to use the latest LTS. This 1904 is not LTS. But again, it really doesn't matter which one you go with for the most part. Feel free to experiment. But I'm going to click Show Older Images, and I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm going to find Ubuntu 1804 LTS, which is the most current LTS or long-term supported Ubuntu release. So if you don't have a preference, this is a good one to go with. So I'll click on that. Then I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to choose the location nearest me. I think New Jersey is probably good enough. And then for the plan, I'm going to click on the Nanode category, which is the lowest price instance you can get, $5 a month. So if you're using the $20 credit that you can get from the link in the show notes below this video, that should keep you going for quite a while. I'll click on that. Now we see that the price is $5 a month. And I'm going to give it a label, so I'll just call it Linux commands for beginners. Almost forgot, I do need to enter a root password here, so I'll put that in. And it says week. This is just a demo, so I don't care. But in your case, I highly recommend a strong randomly generated password because this is going to be publicly available. I'm actually going to be deleting this instance right after I finish recording this, so it doesn't matter in my case. But for you, I would make sure you have a decent password. I'll click Create. And we'll see the 
progress of the creation of my instance up here. So I'll just wait for this to finish. All right, and the instance has started. If you know how to use SSH, you could use SSH to connect to this IP address or whatever your IP address happens to be. But just to keep it simple, I'm gonna launch the console. And I'm just gonna click on it, make sure it has focus. I'm gonna put in root, that's the username. And then the password that I chose. Press enter. And we can see that I am logged in. I can now run commands. So for example, ls, which stands for list storage. There's nothing to list because I have no files, but we can see that we can in fact enter commands. And again, I'll be showing you all kinds of commands in the series. When we're done, I just simply type exit to log out, and then I simply close the window. Now, Linode is a sponsor of my channel, but they're a sponsor because I really do like their company and they're who I use for my VPS infrastructure. So if you want to get a Linux instance up and running really quickly, Linode is a great way to do that. But again, in the next video, we also have the VirtualBox method, which you're welcome to use as well. Basically, the main point is to get a Linux installation of some kind that you can then use to follow through the tutorials. So I will see you in the next video, either in the next video where we set up VirtualBox or the one after that where we actually get started with the commands in video number four. So definitely thank you for checking out this series and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you wanna help me out, make sure you check out the description below this video where you'll find links to my latest book, Mastering Ubuntu Server, second edition, as well as my Patreon page. If you like this video, be sure to click that like button and share it on Twitter or any other social media network. And be sure to subscribe so you'll be the first to see my latest videos as they're uploaded. Thanks again.